Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'm back Shadow, and today we have a, I wouldn't say a tutorial as such, but um, we've got uh, some business that needs uh, uh, addressing. Business in the sense of uh, Magisite. Yes, now Magisite is very important. Now, as you will just have noticed here, what is different about this screen? Yeah, folks, everyone has an MP level, and this is why. Uh, let's say we have, uh, let's go to Sam, for example. Now, as you see here, we have the Esper screen. Now, uh, this is the, this is this is really uh, no, this is like the core mechanic of the game, really. This, so I'm going to try and go through this in as much sort of detail as I can and sort of clarify everything I possibly can. Um, it's not too hard at the moment, but as the list basically. Yeah, this, this list will grow, Magister, don't you worry. Now, at the moment, we have four espers. You know, we've got Ramo, uh, Kirin, Stray, and Siren. Now, if you equip an esper, you can um, use them, like, uh, no, you can actually use the esper in battle. Uh, they have, like, a you know, summon attack, like most Final Fantasy games do. Um, and you can see what they do. So, like, Ramo has, like, a light manual attack on all enemies. Um, Kirin casts again on everyone, I believe. And bits and bobs like that. However, there is a lot of lot, lot more to um, casting, uh, no, to, to, to magic. There's a lot, uh, well, to Esmers, in fact, and such. I'm going to go to cells here um, first, because this is probably the best person to demonstrate on. Now, you know, obviously, Celis has um, some magic spells. She's got, like, eyes here. She's got Q and Ant dots. Oh, yeah, I forgot she's got him. Um, oh, why do I keep doing that, folks? Now, let's say I choose to uh, equip a, um, a uh, Esper. Ramo. Now. Now you can probably see where this is going, folks. There is more to Espers than just summon attacks. This is how you learn spells in the game. And it is with the use of Espers. Now, this is... Um, I, I, I got, I'm going to try and make this as clear as I can, as I said. Now, from now on, whenever we fight any battle, practically... Um, and in addition to stuff like um, experience and gold points, we will also get, uh, I believe they're called like uh, AP, ability points. Uh, we get something, I, I can't forget, remember exactly what it is. Um, and basically, uh, as you go through, and all, by, all the Espers have their own magic, as you can see, and varying spells, you see like, um, so this has already got all this, like Cure and Antbot, obviously. And basically, when we get a, um, I'll, I'll use Kieran as an example, when we get an ability point, um, our skill level, um, as you can see on the right, goes up by 1%. Except, um, this is what the learn rate comes in, so as you see, like, Q2 has um, time 1, but say, like, Regen has times 3. So if we get uh, one ability point in a fight, um, for Q2, um, it goes up by 1% the skill level, and it goes up by 3%. For regen in one in with one e each AP, which is really nice. Um, now, of course, different spells have different um, learn rates, and some espers uh, have the um, same um, have the uh, same uh, spells on them, but might like have um, a different uh, a different learn rate. So, like um, example, um, if I go here quickly, like a uh, bulk here for Ramu uh, has. Uh, times 10%, but I know there's an Esper later on, though I forget what it does. He can, like, you can learn Bolt off for of, like a 20, um, 20 times learn rate, basically. Um, also, uh, as far as all this is concerned, uh, not only does it you learn um, spells from this, but as you can see, uh, it has uh, also affects your state statuses that you get, so like a level um, up here, uh, your stamina goes up plus one, and stuff like that. Um, Kieran uh, doesn't have one. Uh, here's Stray, Magic Power, yeah. Magic Power goes up by 1, Siren, um, yeah, Health goes up by 10%, nice. Um, now you can use this quite heavily, um, you know, if you want to really put some real time into the game, and sort of really, um, sort of nitpick, I suppose, I suppose, uh, you could say. Like, um, Celis here, for example, she's, like, nearly got a level up. So let's say I wanted to just get her Magic Power up really high, um, what you could do, is obviously for a while, um, you can just, uh, for now, just um, give her the, um, wrong, wrong one. You can give her the, um, the Stray, um, uh, the Stray Esper to learn the spells that Stray gives you, which would be for her, Mother One Float, because we've already got Imp. 
And for each level, the magic power will go up plus one to what it normally would. I believe at um, set le at levels, um, your ability, your um, I think it's like at levels, um, your actual abilities go up by a set pattern or something like that. I I, I don't really know that, folks. I haven't looked into that much. But what you could do then, from here, if you wanted to really get some people having certain status boosts, is from there I could say like um, uh, quivers, like something else, say like siren. And have her learning all this stuff, but as I'm about to level up, I could quickly give her um, Stray back as she levels up, and then give it back to Siren, that sort of thing. And you can do this and manipulate this as you know, it's as, as you please. I mean, it, it is a lot of options and customization here you can uh, you can uh, employ. Um, actually, I'm going to give uh, Siren. Uh, I'm going to give Siren cells actually because um, I want to give her the fire spell because basically there are so many enemies that are weak to fire. Ideally, I want to give Celis Fire, Ice, and Bolt at least. Um, Bolt 2 is the only uh, sort of level 2 spell we can give her. Oh, we can get her a cure 2, but that's 100. No, that's a normal it's times 1 learn rate, so that's going to take forever. Um, well, I might give her Stray just for the magic power, actually, at the start. Yeah, I will, actually. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm happy. And that's basically how it works, folks. Um, with this, you can basically anyone can learn any spell. Uh, obviously, though, uh, some people can be more better with magic spells than others. Like, um, like uh, say, um, like Celis is going to be better than say, like a uh, Lock, for example, who uh, does actually have not bad MP level. Interestingly enough, um, Savage has got the highest MP level out of anyone. Weirdly enough, not even forty. Um, so what I want to give everyone? Let's see. If I give. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give I'll give, um, I'll give Siren um, to Sabin, partially for the uh, HP boost, and that and I do want everyone to sort of learn fire. In the, at least the core three spells: fire, ice, and bolt. If I can, that'd be uh, really nice. Though I don't think we can. No, we can't learn ice yet. Uh, that's a well, uh, an Esper. Not too in the, uh, in the not too distant future can uh, give us that. So I'm gonna give him that. Uh, and also, I can imagine sort of, you know, as sort of like almost a support with the uh, extra spells. Should we need them? Stuff like Nuke could be really handy for uh, some enemies. Stuff like Slow as well. All that stuff's kind of handy. Um, we've got Locke and Edgar next. Uh, I think I'm gonna give Locke. Um, I'm gonna give Locke uh, Kieran. Um, yeah, so he can sort of a support guy. He can steal, or he can attack, or he can like um, go around curing um, if he needs to. And basically, he can just sort of do whatever he needs to. Really, He's sort of like a like a jack of all trades. Which I don't think Locke would mind being too much. And that means that uh, Edgar is going to be getting Ramo for a little while, which I don't mind. Um, and, but yeah, I, I don't mind. Yeah, I, I'd say I'm pretty happy with that. Now the one we have also got, four, we have obviously got only the four Espers. Believe me, that number will go up, and it will go up dramatically. Oh my god. Um, and I think um, this uh, ghost will just tell you everything I said, uh, pretty much. Except, I suppose a little shorter. But I, I want to... Game! Ugh. Well, never mind. But anyways, I'll show you what now... Um, anyways, what I'm doing. Yeah, you can see Edgar with the haste. That is amazing. Yeah, so now, um, everyone has the magic attack. And as it also works out... Um, yeah, you can't use a spell until you have learnt it. Until then, you cannot use it. But if you go to the magic and then press up, you can use the uh, Esper. I'm not going to be doing that just yet. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you them as you know, as the time sort of requires. Me. There we go. And so now you'll see. Yes, we'll get the um, 104 experience. Oh, that's what it's called. Two magic points. That's um, that's it. Not AP. That's uh, that's um, Final Fantasy VII, isn't it? Oh, so let's gain the level. Yes, so now, as I'll... Uh, sh well, now I can actually probably demonstrate it to you as well. Um, so now, if we go to... Um, let's go back to... Uh, uh, to Celis. And you can go to the magic. And for spells you haven't learnt yet... Yeah, you see here it has a um, percentage um, of it. Uh, and stuff like that. So if I go to Esper's here and go back to Stray... Um, so you remember we got two magic points. Um, so, for, so, so as far as Float's concerned, we 
the skill level is well two times the learn rate, which is two, so the skill rate's now at fourteen percent. End model was two times seven, which is fourteen. Y you get the idea, folks. I'm pretty sure you could do that. It's, it's pretty simple maths. Um, you know, for pretty much anyone, really. It's kind of obvious. Um, and that's basically, that is the, one of the core mechanics of the game, you know, and as you're doing that, you can obviously, you know, uh, get your people learning more and more and more spells as you go along. Um, I believe when you fight, uh, do enemies in the belt give you magic points? I think they do. I think. No, I'm just trying to think. I, I know we won't, we won't be going back to the belt for a while, sadly. But oh well. Anyways, it is off to the Opera House, um, as we were, no. Not the Opera House, um, Chador even. How am I talking about the Opera House for? Sorry folks, I'm, I'm going a bit crazy here. Chador. Chador. Stupid. I tell you what, it's going to be really nice um, to have um, people having sort of the core cool spells. I mean, it is... I know not everyone is a fan of uh, this system. Um, I know... Some people probably prefer like other ways, like uh, maybe like Final uh, Fantasy VII's materia system. I, uh, some people prefer, for example. I don't really know, folks. I, I, I like the idea, sort of like um, I like the general idea. You've got to learn off the experts. Um, you know, actually, you've got to use someone to actually give them spells. Obviously, you can't just like um, like Final Fantasy VII. You can't just like give someone the materia and they've all got the spells, even if you've like barely used them the entire game. Um, but it's yeah, you know, you either love it or you hate it. I don't really, I don't mind. I, I kind of like it, to be honest. Uh, it's not bad. Um, you know. But, yeah, I'm, I'm sure people have their, their own opinions, and, you know, by all means, you're entitled to them. Nothing against that. Anyways, let's get back over to the Jadul. I can't believe it gives us the option that if we want to change party members to go back to Nash. I mean, who's going to go back to Nash from here? I mean, come on. Oh, can you imagine like, getting to this point of content like accidentally choosing the wrong people in your team? You've got to go all the way back. Man, that would suck. Alright, so we'll do all these. Again, for the first, no, first few battles, it's going to be pretty much uh, the same going. Um, we say, but you know, obviously you've got the magic command now, which is uh, basically that space that everyone had. You know, some people might be wondering, oh, what, I wonder what goes in there. Yeah, it's the magic command. Everyone can get it now. Um, everyone in the game will have now an MP as well. So you know, even even if they um, haven't got any magic spells now, everyone's got an MP. So just just so you know, viewers. All right, well, back to Jador. The westernmost town on the world map. Well, I've never hugely looked. Well, let's see, can we find anyone who can help us, perhaps? Um, you know, um, maybe someone you know, can uh, give us an idea of uh, how we're going to get over to the southern continent. That'd be kind of nice. Alright, uh, let's go here, because I want to buy some more potions, because we have a lot of money. That's 70, so 75, I want 75 potions. A couple of tinctures could come in handy, especially now that everyone has like um, MP levels. Yeah, you know, and the only way we can sort of get them back up is uh, you know uh, really using tinctures or stuff like um, inns. So yeah, we're gonna be using stuff like inns and rests and that a lot more viewers. I uh, get some more echo screens. I'm surprised we didn't have more of those. Meh. Uh, I believe all the equipment's still the same. Pretty sure all the clips still. Are. I'm just gonna quickly check just, just to make sure. Um, I would assume it is. Yeah, it's all. Uh, it's clips still. Uh, still the same. Alright, um, well, I'm going to call out a video, folks, because I'm sort of running out of time. I know most of that was um, taken up with explaining the espers, but, you know, it's just the way it works out. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a there's a bit to go through, and uh, 
I, I want to make sure people sort of understand it for those you know, who didn't. Just, just you know, so you get it. You know, watch it, this video again if you must, just to get it in. But it, it's not too hard. Once you get, once you sort of you know see me using it a bit in the SLP, it will all make sense. Don't worry, viewers. But at any rate, I shall cut the video here. So I shall see you in the next video.